ever since the Tommy gun had its initial buff, basically whatever update it was, it just became so strong that it's literally the top dog currently in its game. What better way to do than to make an overpowered setup or loadout as you could say with it. Here is the best loadout currently in the game. Tommy Gun, RPG, Machete, Speed Armor, Candy Kid, and Gingerbread Defender. Having this loadout makes you so unbelievably overpoweredly strong that people will just be leaving the game left and right because it will be impossible to take you down most of the time. Combine this with basically VCing with other players or just being good with other players as well, like checking out players and stuff like that, that you will become the greatest player in the entire existence because they're just going to be appreciating you like oh my god you're so fast oh my god you helped me that that rpg shot helped me across the map oh my god you actually freed yourself from a tingler so many times how did you do that and especially the fact of how did you free yourself your gingerbread actually killed all the infected around you and especially the um what's it called the hunter that was of course being protected by all the infected with these oh my god i will pray for you Literally, this setup is OP as hell. Tommy Gun, obviously, super, super buffly, incredibly strong because of its immense amount of damage, fire rate, ammunition, and by far just how strong it is at close range, which I'm pretty sure the most of the game. Secondly, the RPG is really good against cross map snipes to free captive survivors, and especially the fact that it helps you to kill all the group infected with one shot, wasting little to no time. Thirdly, Machete. Machete is really good with helping you get yourself free from the Tanglers that are constantly shooting at you or are constantly around corners that you are unable to actually get much of a reaction out of or to basically react of basically before they even shoot you. This thing is incredibly strong to give you a, a plan B before you actually die, giving you plan B over plan B over plan B and escape thing every single time a Tangler shows up. Next up is Speed Armor. Speed Armor is the most broken thing in the game. Why? And that's mainly because you are so fast most of the time that literally Infected can't even catch up with you most of the time or even kill you unless they have a really good team and they're VCing in order to actually say, hey, cut them off or something like that. But most of the time, you will be such a pain in the ass with Speed Armor. You basically outrun the Infected with these. Next up is Candy Cane. Candy Cane with Speed Armor plus Tommy Gun is so broken that you are literally faster than the Infected without even sprinting while having the while having the Candy Cane's uh, effects on, and your fire rate will be increased with your speed um speed of reloading increased as well, meaning you will just be burning through ammo, especially burning through the bullets, which will make Infected die even faster and losing their health, especially against the shamans juggernauts and especially the banshees meaning you will just be god for like 15 seconds and then eventually you will just go back to being a really overpowered survivor plus with the special effects of being super fast you can consume it and then immediately go for the for the uh, medkit station so you can immediately get like a soda a medkit a pipe bomb and all that good stuff and you will still have the amazingly good speed effects this Thing, these three combos just make you incredibly strong and fast that, that the infected will just be amazed on how you are still alive and so fast. Next up is the Ginger Defender. I specifically say the Ginger Defender mainly as a plan B or a fallback plan when you are basically held captive by a hunter and there's a bunch of infected around you and you're like the last survivor or survivors are, in, are unable to help you because they've got their own problems to deal with. The, ginger, the, the Gingerbread Defender is most likely going to help you and, and um, what's it called, free you in lesser of a time than the Elf, Snowman, and Yeti, mainly because the Elf and Yeti, or the Elf and Snowman, are likely going to do lesser damage and lesser of a fire rate and a lesser amount of time to actually save you, or most of the time won't even save you because of the amount of effect that are all around um, blocking its shots. While the gingerbread, on the other hand, is completely beating the stuffing out of all the infected around, meaning they will do a crap ton of damage per hit, which is 75 with a 0.5 kind of ish rate of fire, meaning they will just get rid of every single infected around you with ease and such, such an incredibly fast space, um, fast pace that infected will just be amazed of how all this infected that I was around you eating your guts were just gone in seconds and if and officially the hunter or tangler that was around you killing you will just be dead in seconds gingerbread offender is a juggernaut with this setup 
You could use Elf Defender, but they would die in literally seconds if all the infected are around you, and plus they don't really do a lot. So I would more or less suggest the Gingerbread Defender because they do a crap ton of damage per hit against Hunters and Chillers specifically them. And for the Tanglers, just use the Machete against them. This setup is the most broken thing I've ever seen in the game. And really, the way you make this even more overpowered is if you're playing with friends, like someone has Juggernaut armor and has like a minigun or something like that. But if you're playing solo and you don't really have anyone to play with, like me, then this setup is just as strong as without even having uh, an actual team. This setup is so broken that I'm actually proud that I'm sharing it with you guys so you guys can actually know what it's like to be cheating, kind of. And really, the only thing I would say is there must be a nerf with speed armor because I'm pretty sure speed armor is most likely the thing that's keeping this loadout incredibly strong. But either way, speed armor, you are just a godsend combining with all of these loadout stuff. So really get your hands on this Loto as fast as you can before they nerf it, which I'm pretty sure they might not. But either way, that's the best Tommy Gun setup currently in the game.